This is a short tutorial on how to calculate percentages for functional skills test. In particular for this one, we're going to be looking at one method in particular, and that's what we call the 1% method. Now, this method in general is one I was ta always taught at school, it's always one that stuck with me, and to be honest with you, it's always the one that's easier to work out in your head. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look, quick look through a sample question, or an example question, sorry, and then we're going to set another question, and we'll have a quick pause so you can have a go at it, and then we'll follow through that one as well. So, first things first, we'll start off, we've got a £250 sofa. The shop that we're looking at this for has got a one-time deal of 20% discount off. So how can we calculate this properly? I should put a line under there so I don't confuse it. So, we can break this down into a few steps. Our first step is to find out what 1% is. That's what the 1% method means. We find the 1% first. So we can do this by taking our total amount of money. So in our case we've got £250 here. And we can divide that by 100. Now, don't worry if you can't do this in your head, you will always have access to a calculator during functional skills tests. So, you can do your 250, divide that by your 100, it's 2.5. 2.5. Now, there's one thing that we do have to look at here quickly. As you can see here, we're doing currency, so we've got the pounds. So we've got two. 0.5 pounds. Now, because it's a currency, we always have to have two numbers after the decimal point. If there's not two numbers, you can just put a zero onto the end, and that will turn it into a currency, or how we expect to be able to see a currency. So, what we've found here is your 1%. Okay? So, if we're now looking for 20%, our second step is to take our £2.50 and multiply it by whatever percentage we're looking for. In our case it's 20, but this could be anything. You could be 17.2, 100.5, it can be literally any number. Whatever percentage you're looking for, multiply that by it. So again, bring up our calculator quickly. We've already got a 2.5 up there. So multiply that by 20 us 50 pound. So that's our 50 pounds. So what we've now found here is 20% of our original original amount. So that's all this question was asking us for. However, if the question was saying something like what's the new price? So calculate a new price after the discount, then obviously we'd have to start looking at taking this amount away. So the third step would be to have your original amount of £250 and subtract. Because it's a discount or decrease, it's a subtract. And we can subtract our 20%, which we've already calculated, to be £50. Obviously, feel free to use calculator for whatever sums you want. That shows us that our new price would be £200. And that's all there is to it. That would be our new price. Now, one thing to be careful of is, for this one, because it was a decrease or a discount, it was a minus. So, this last step, we minus the amount away. However, if it was, you know, if it was a 20% increase... So that means we'd be adding the amount on. Should obviously be a slightly different number. Oops. There's my rubber. So that's how we do the 1% method. So what I'm going to do now is put up a question for you, 
and you can pause the video and have a go at it yourself and then we'll follow it through together. So we're going to do this thing, I'm going to keep it relatively simple to start with, do £450, we'll have that as a TV for this one, and we'll have a 17.5% discount. So if you'd like to pause the video here and have a go at this question yourself, feel free. But if not, we will start and look our way through it in a couple of seconds. Right, so remember the first step. Our first step is always to find what 1% of our original amount is. We do this, like we did before, we do your 450, we divide it by 100. This will always find 1%, no matter what. Let's clear that off. 450 divided by 100, 4.5. Remember what we said with the last one? When we're looking at currency, we need two numbers here so we can add on the zero. It's got £4.50 as our 1%. Now we can come back here, we can do the £4.50, the second step is to multiply it by whatever percentage we're looking for. So in our case here, 17.5. Again bring up your calculator for this, 4.5 multiplied by 17.5, 78.75. Seven eight point seven five. Now just take a quick note here. You see after the decimal point you've already got two numbers. That means you don't have to add on the zero on the end. It just stays as those two numbers. So the last step. We said because we're on a discount for this one, we're going to be taking this amount away. So we've got four hundred and fifty pounds minus our 17.5 percent. Let's just run that through on the calculator quickly. 450 minus 78.75 is equal 371.25. And there's the new price of our TV. And that is the end of this short tutorial.